And the Mediterranean-inspired menu at Lupi and Iris is up for the best new restaurant. And joining us this afternoon to share some of their flavor are Chef Adam Siegel and developer and architect Michael DeMichel, the brains behind Lupi and Iris. First of all, congratulations on reaching uh, this point. Chef Adam, I'll start with you. This is familiar territory uh, because you are a James Beard Award winner yourself. Uh, talk about this, uh, how proud you are of this moment. I'm extremely proud. Yeah, I, I won in 2008 and it was an incredible time and super excited to be nominated again. Well, not nominated on the semifinal list and hope to get the nomination, but it's an incredible honor to be recognized for this. Looking at the restaurant behind you, the ambiance looks incredible. You all opened during the pandemic. What was that like? Oh, it was, it was a crazy time trying to open up a restaurant towards the tail end of the pandemic and during it, it, it was extremely difficult, but we made it work. Um, you know, the experience of myself, uh, the hard work of my partner and everybody that was on our team made it happen. So we, we had a long year of construction and build out and everything. And let's bring Michael in here. Uh, let's talk about the inspiration behind Loopy and Iris. The name is significant to you all, Chef Adam, because of your father-in-law, Michael, because of your grandmother. So let's talk about that. Well, yeah, we uh, we wanted we were trying to pick names. We actually started. We were kind of going through flowers, and we hit Iris, and that's where you know I said, well, my grandmother, an Italian immigrant, her name was Iris, and uh, Adam's like, well, you know, my father-in-law Ron Lupi, which Lupi means wolf in Italian, he and I, he was a great uh, fan of dining, and we'd all go out, and you know, it'd be an honor for us to uh, bring our family into uh, this experience, and and really, you know, have that serve as as kind of a flashpoint where it's a, it's like the, the connection to the family, uh, a comfort, uh, a hospitality. These types of um, th these are the kinds of words that inspire um, this restaurant to uh, to do the kinds of things we do. It's an awesome backstory as well, and just the James Beard Awards. Knowing how huge it is, how has the staff reacted to the news? They're super excited. <laughs> I mean, it's such an honor to to have this recognition that. It's, it's very cool to see how excited everyone is because this recognizes the entire restaurant, not just one individual. It recognizes everybody here who's made this happen. That, that's one of the great things about it. It's, uh, you know, best new restaurant, in, and it's a nationwide uh, category. So we love the fact that it represents Milwaukee, that it, it uh, you know, we, one of the things we did when we did this was we wanted to create something great for Milwaukee. And so this just emphasizes that and helps uh, elevate our city's dining scene and uh, all the others. I mean, I think the, the representation from Wisconsin in all the categories is just terrific. So we're really proud to be part of that. And you've done this all in less than a year opening what May 17th 2022 uh, congratulations Michael DeMichel it was a true it was a it was a real shock because <laughs> it's all so new and we're just getting our feet under us but it's been a thrill for all of us and it's been a great day here as you can imagine with all the the press and and this kind of thing we're we're proud to be here and thank you for uh, featuring us tonight absolutely Michael DeMichel chef Adam Siegel thank you both and congrats to you thank and, you. and all the staff there